we opened up last Friday against a very good Auburn team. Uh, many have predicted them to be uh, fourth or fifth in the conference. They're off to a very good start. And uh, I thought we played really well. We uh, were in the fourth set. We're up 23-21, have a lot of momentum. We end up losing, uh, I think, 27, 25, or 28, 26, something like that. And uh, we had five hitting errors during that uh, run there to, to lose the match. And so we all were really disappointed that we didn't take that to the fifth set. And we had some players, uh, which this is where I should, I think it shows the maturity of our program and that it's taken us four years to really get to this point is that we had players step up and take accountability for how that match ended. And those were also some players that stepped up on Sunday and were the reason why we beat Alabama. And so uh, just really proud of our program, really proud of the young ladies, um, where we're at right now with that. I thought our middles had a good weekend. Uh, Naya Warnell is off to a great start in the conference. Bailey Scott stepped in yesterday against Alabama and played really well, especially coming off the bench as a freshman. Delaney Gallagher had a nice night on Friday. Um, and then Lexi Thompson, Kate Gibson both had really nice matches against Alabama yesterday. Um, and in the match yesterday, it was just kind of crazy. We had split uh, one set apiece. And in the third set, it was tied 14-14. Alabama goes on a 10-3 run. They're up 24 to 17. Looks like we're gonna be uh, walking across and chain the sides being down 2-1. We go on a nine point run. And um, I was asked afterwards if I'd ever been a part of something like that. And I can't remember in 21 years uh, being down a set point, nine points, uh, or seven points and coming all the way back. You know, And we had been struggling a little bit during of course that 10-3 stretch for us to not make one error and them and Alabama not earn one point during that stretch was just pretty incredible. And we took that momentum into the fourth set and went back and forth, pulled away there at the end. I think it's the first time now in, in four years that we've gotten a win on the first weekend. We've had some tough opening weekends, and so to be one and one versus 0 and two is a, a, a lot better feeling to be in the middle of the pack, starting off versus working our way up from the bottom. Um, and also just very thankful for assistant coaches, Ronaldo Pacheco, Tori Mellinger. I think they prepared the team really, really well and showing up in our defense. We're leading the league in digs right now. Our blocking has gone up uh, since SEC play has started, and that's important. And uh, as we go into Wednesday, this is typically, Monday's typically our day off, but we go to Mississippi State on Wednesday, so three matches in six days. It's a lot of play. So we'll get back after it today. Uh, Coach McFatridge there at State has done a really nice job. You, if you look at the overall record uh, program-wise, our, our program has dominated against Mississippi State, but the last two years they've gotten us. So um, I think we're going in with more motivation than we've had in the past, and especially understanding that we can get to two and one uh, in the league. And then we uh, will come back Sunday and play Georgia next weekend. And uh, one thing too, we just had, we've had great crowds SEC wise. And I think the new building, uh, the new acoustics in there, everything, it was uh, great, both matches. So hoping that can continue as well. Any questions? All right, thank you.